Okay, well, I have some extra time and I have some energy tonight. So I'm going to show you what I've been working on. Basically, while I haven't had time to do any other sort of programming. Um, so I have... My tablet is... Uh, my bamboo tablet's typing on my keyboard. Okay, my desk is kind of a mess. Just ignore that. Um, I've been renting a droplet for like four dollars a month and I basically just have terminal based programs and stuff on it. I found ASCII Aquarium. Sometimes I play this before class starts. I did not make that. That was just something I found. Um, but I've basically been, I wanted to have a droplet to SSH into to work on projects either like I can do it on my phone if I'm stuck somewhere and there's nothing to do or during class while students are working on things, I can SSH, I can putty into my server and work on stuff there. Um, and in the past I've worked on some in curses based things, but I've also been developing a little um, kind of framework to be able to use C++ and do some graphics, but not, not like high res graphics, like, you know, ask, not, kind of ASCII art with the, you know, colorful foregrounds and backgrounds. Um, so that, well, for one, with our uh, CS235 class, we have um, four teams working on, it started as a um, duplicate code base, but it's kind of diverged because there's four different teams. But I wanted to make it more visually interesting, and this is how I started doing like more color <laughs> in the the in the prompt. So if I go to the make file, uh, and we'll just make it. Hopefully, it all builds. I it was originally just you know plain black and white, not very interesting. Um, but I know that oh, there's an error. Why is there an error? Don't give me an error. Don't make me go build a <laughs> different students thing. Um, okay, let's try team. Where are we at? Team Guava. Let's see if they have <laughs> working code base. I might also just need to get latest, but let's see if there's anything in here. To make hey I hope I hope it builds <laughs> um I haven't even shown off anything interesting yet we're just sitting here waiting for things to build but I promise I think it's cool so you know we'll see if this doesn't finish building properly I'll just pause the video and I'll get something up and running <laughs> Um, but again, this is on my server. I also just, I'm on my computer. I could build it from here as well. But I've been putting some of my work, the lighter weight stuff, like the pure C++ programs, my uh, org mode, Emacs files, text files. Um, and basically using it as a way where I can get my work done or get some projects done. Um, I guess we'll run debug mode. Oh, this is the old version. Okay. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Let's just, <laughs> I'm just going to build again. So, um, again, when I used to work as a software developer, I also would rent a droplet and I'd use IRC from the command line. That's how I got really good at speaking Esperanto um, or, you know, forming sentences in Esperanto. Okay, hopefully this is the latest version. There we go. Look, <laughs> there are colors. Um, we still have our CNC out down here, but there's, it looks like a window. I can view our, it's supposed to be kind of like a Spotify program, except it doesn't actually play any audio. Uh, it's not as functional as one would hope because again, it's been built by multiple students and some of the features work and some don't. 
but so this is kind of the starting point. Um, yeah, so under my terminal games pack, it, this repository is public. I also have been working on some in curses stuff, so we'll look at those really quick. These are using the in curses library. The well, I'll show off the incomplete Sudoku. <laughs> uh, we'll just make hopefully that everything is configured right. Maybe. Um, I haven't implemented this all the way, and I know there are other terminal-based Sudokus, but we'll just uh, let me copy the bin file over here and run that. So there's not a lot. You can move around and you can set the numbers. I just haven't gotten very far past that, but just working on stuff with like graphical interfaces. With in curses, you can get like the keyboard input where you t hit a number or a letter or something and it detects it and you can um, work with that. I wrote this program. Why is it missing my my paintings okay um but the idea is you can paint in here um you have your basic colors you can pencil down or pencil up you can fill all um, i haven't added many more features it's just something i've done a little bit here and there um let me see are none of my are my pictures i had more pictures <laughs> saved i thought they were there but i guess not but um, sometimes when I'm bored in class and I just don't have like the brain power to, to actually do anything else, maybe I'll like draw a scene or pretend I'm making like a really old game where we have terminal art. And um, I've tried to draw like ET, but if for the terminal <laughs> or um, some other stuff like that. So it can be fun. Maybe I'll try to find some other um, art that I've done because it's it's fun. So I realized, I guess I have a copy of this from when I originally worked on it, but here we have some other ones. So I'll run cursed paint. Let's look at et.ppm. That's my <laughs> interpretation of et for a in curses program. I know this is kind of bright. I could adjust my terminal colors. Here's just a crappy picture of a, a girl. <laughs> I tried to draw a lobster for a project, and um, here's an example scene. So if we're making like a history, history, mystery house style game, uh, but with more colors, uh, we could do that. And I've done some other ones as well. Um, you'll notice that these are PPM files. I don't know if you're familiar with those, but it basically sets a width and height and gives you um, color depth and then it's red green blue for the first pixel red green blue red green blue and so on it's a very easy to parse uh, image format so i've been using that with my little game engines here for the terminals um so then i could save this i'm not going to but i'll show you some of the other things i've been doing so I've been developing out the InCurses project, but then I kind of got sidetracked because of the ADHD, I guess. Um, we have I have some demos here, um, but here is the engine, and that is all in the repository. So I have the terminal app. We'll see if Emacs runs fast enough. Um, there's a bunch of different things to just draw you know a symbol or some text with some foreground color and background color this is my in curses stuff at the moment but then what i've been sidetracked on is my colorful cpp projects um actually let me go into the vanilla ones first so some of these are games that i made for students to um, practice debugging with or just explore software so i'll just build these these started off as just basic C++ games. Um, 
So, you know, here we can scavenge. It doesn't find anything. It randomly generates some stuff that happens. I can travel to another location and so on and so on. So this is the original version of it. Um, and then let me SSH into this again. Let's go back to the color, colorful C++ projects. Those are the ones that are not using in curses, but they're using um, C out commands and escape characters to do graphics. Um, so let's do version three. I have the bin file. Can I just run it from here, I guess? Does that work with my graphics? Okay, so I added graphics. Here's this if I start it from scratch. It asks for my name. Here's the new version. It's cool looking. <laughs> so now I have, I drew some pictures with my curse, cursed paint program. Um, and this is just stuff I can kind of do during class while students are working on things. Otherwise, uh, you know, I could grade stuff, but then ADHD and stuff, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's hard to be interrupted on something important like grading and then it like makes my brain stop working good. So if I work on something a little bit more casual like this, this is much easier to pull myself away from and come back to it, especially if I'm just like painting art in a terminal paint program. So we're going to scavenge. I drew, you know, it's supposed to be a can of food and like a box of food. That looks like a cactus in the back. I don't remember what that was supposed to be. Maybe a broccoli. <laughs> um, so you scavenge, you can find different things. I can travel elsewhere. I drew little pictures for each area. Uh, travel to Raytown. Oh, we traded goods with this random person. Okay, here's Raytown. It's based on some photos of Raytown, but not that you can really tell. This is supposed to be Kansas City. Uh, a zombie attacks. I lost some health. Here's Olathe. So same kind of game, but I have my um, drawing view up here. It's, I think it's 20 characters tall, 80 characters wide, and then I have space for doing C in and C out stuff on the bottom. So it's kind of all designed around doing your C in and C out on the bottom, um, building programs in C++ that aren't uh, that don't require dependencies because I can't get everyone on every different type of computer getting things set up. Uh, it's not also part of the class curriculum. I do teach how to link the SFML library in one of my classes at the very end as an optional thing because I think it's a good skill to know how to link a third-party library to what you're working with. But I don't want to have to mess with that during the core semester. The other thing... I updated, so I have this dungeon crawl that I also used as a debugging assignment. Uh, let's just run that. So this is the original version. I am an at sign, and I have to keep hitting the enter key after I type a letter. Over here, we have a dot out. I added color. It's still pretty rudimentary but it's a little more visually interesting, I guess. So, um, that's about all I've done with that at the moment. Uh, I was thinking of maybe making a text adventure, kind of like taking Zork, but adding images kind of like you'd see in Mystery House, um, maybe doing a little mini map, I don't know. Maybe that's, I figured that would be something better to do on stream when I have time to do some stuff. It'd be a kind of a fun little project to work on. Um, so I was starting to think about it during class tonight because we're very closely in the semester and students were just working on their semester projects. Um, but I decided not to work on that. So what else do we have? Any other interesting terminal based things? Um, I have stuff from previous times when I used to do terminal games. I don't know if this is... Okay, this is my older stuff. Will it run? 
What are you mad about? Okay, well, it has some build errors. Um, I have these in my repository. So, this probably is under my own repository. When you make repositories so often, you have so many different groups of repository. This is my older InCurses stuff from four years ago. I did a map editor, which is basically like my paint program. Um, I didn't really do anything with it. I was just playing around. I thought it was fun. Uh, do, 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 do. Trezoro. That was more of a pick and sticks evolution. So that was fun to play around with. That one I don't have any screenshots of. I don't have screenshots there. Okay, so that's what I have. So basically, besides working on Christmas Horse here in November and December, my yearly release of Christmas Horse, um, I've also been working on Terminal Games. So I'll do some streaming for Christmas Horse probably, working on Christmas Horse 4 this year. Uh, got a little bit of stuff done, but not really enough to show off yet. But again, once the semester is kind of lightening up, once I get a lot of the grading done and I have just more free time, more time to think and focus, uh, then I'll be doing some more Christmas art stuff. And then also some more terminal stuff. And then also, let me change cameras, also more Playdate stuff. Whee! Maybe I need to do a video update about the Playdate, but yeah. <laughs> Games. I like programming. <laughs> So, um, beyond that, I also need to make videos about these old computers, and I need to make videos about these kids' educational computers that I have accumulated but not, never done any project stuff with. But maybe I'll, maybe I'll have free time over the break. Maybe that is something I can do. Okay, so it's been 17 minutes. You've listened to me ramble. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions about the terminal stuff, let me know. I will also link to the um, repository. So the th current thing, if we look up terminal, we got that. And then I'm going to pull out the color um, vanilla C++ stuff, the colorful projects, the stuff that doesn't need in curses. And I'm going to put it into here. So this is, and I'll put some games in here too as an example. So I was just going to kind of build that out, but I'm just kind of doing it slowly, a little bit at a time, whenever I have time on campus, or just I'm idle and I can use Juice SSH to go to my server and then program on my phone. Um, and otherwise, oh yeah. I, I'm not showing the desktop. Here's here's the repository. Here's one of them. Here's the other one. I'll link to them. So, yeah. Bye. <laughs>